clients have lost trust on a lot of SEO experts as scammers claim to be experts. So how to distinguish ourselves from the rest and get high ticket clients? Um, so, you know, we, we do not work in client SEO anymore. Um, we do work in a, in a, you know, we, we are link builders. And so we, we also do work in a, a niche of SEO that is, uh, you know, there's, there's not a lot of trust here. And so we work as establishing, establishing ourselves as an authority. And we do that by, you know, creating our website, uh, creating, you know, a bunch of articles on topics, uh, you know, basically just giving, you know, it's essentially content marketing, you know, where we're giving people good information on how to do stuff. And we're not even selling how to do SEO or how to do, um, you know, the things that we're talking about in the articles. We're just giving them free information to establish ourselves as a trustworthy, you know, uh, company in the industry. And then our, our product is backlinks. And so, you know, we, we steer people there. Um, so you could do that, you know, you could use your website to kind of increase your, or show your authority on the subject matter. Um, you can create a YouTube channel, um, you know, your, you can create a, a Facebook group. Um, but you know, as far as if you're just trying, if, if you're doing like SEO, SEO, like full SEO and you're like doing, you know, reaching out to local clients and whatnot. Um, I don't know what, I haven't done this in such a long time. What, what, what advice would you give them, Nick? Don't talk about it, be about it, <laughs> all right? To keep it simply. Um, you know, out in these markets, especially when we're talking about the gurus, et cetera, they're out there yapping all day long, showing graphs without actually giving you information on what they're doing or how they're doing it. That's their own gimmick. Um, a way to advance yourself in a position that's above these types of people is by showing your clients what you can do to a certain degree. And so Chris touched on um, you start that, yeah, especially in, in SEO, studies. website. Um, so, you know, come up with who you are, your branded website, right? Chris and I chose to put our faces attached to Sir Links a lot to help build the trust to the brand, right? And we've got this show where we give out free information to help with that as well. And then, you know, our actions are supposed to be exactly what I was talking about, where we're doing things to help. Uh, with the community. We're not just trying to suck dollars out of everything. We're generating a sort of education around here. With your own personal website, there's all sorts of tricks or techniques that you can use to show that you are strong when it comes to SEO. And some of them are more simple than others. When you think about um, executing on SERPs that are like long tail, like, uh, you know, if you look up uh, hottest guy in Austin, Texas, or hottest digital marketer, um, SERPs like that, you're going to see a guy right here at the top of the SERPs. And even though that's a very easy thing to do and literally ranked both of them in a day, um, one with a personal website, one with a parasite, um, the point being, you know, to us, if you're somewhat versed in SEO, you know, it's a parlor trick, but to people with no sense of how to do these things, that becomes something very powerful. And so you can take that technique or that kind of idea and you can kind of mold it in a lot of different ways to where you can show a potential client that you are capable of doing this type of thing. Um, not just saying that they should trust you um, because I've worked, well, yeah, I won't go into that, but um, yeah, showing is definitely uh, much more powerful than just, you know, saying you yeah, can so, do something. So, you know, getting a website and getting some case studies on it, some like, you know, good, some nice case studies is, is probably a, yeah. a huge thing. Um, you know, if, if I was, if you're talking about local SEO and you're trying to get some like local clients that what I would probably start doing, if I was going to get into local SEO today and, you know, maybe I'm an idiot because you know, maybe there's better ways of doing this now, but uh, what I would probably do is after I get th some case studies up on my site, um, you know, I would, I would cold email people, but I would, um, I, I would not do it in a very automated way at all. I would do it in a very like personalized way. Um, I would focus on specific niches. I would get to know niches very well. I'd get to know like what makes these, um, 
business owners in these niches, like what they really care about, what really makes them click. And I would send very targeted emails to them based on their business and their niche. And I'd probably uh, in include things like a free audit. Like maybe I wouldn't even ask them if they want an audit. I'd just be like, here's a, here's a video audit I did of your website, or here's a PDF or whatever. Um, this is why you're not ranking, and this is exactly how I can help you. Here's my case studies. Um, you know, I've already ranked another site in your niche. So um, yeah, let me know if you actually want to make some more money. You know, something like that, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, just uh, providing proof providing value up front, like real value, not, not, um, you know, not, not some automated email crap value, like real value up front. And, um, that, that's probably how I would attack it if I was going after local clients. Um, but yeah, you know, and, and of course, you know, there, there's different ways to go about this. Like some people, for example, some people like only focus on social media, like you could just get on Facebook, your entire business could be based on you going into Facebook groups and like, um, just helping people essentially all day. Just like, you know, you're, you're establishing, establishing yourself as an authority in all of these different Facebook groups and whatnot um, for business owners. And you can just go in there and, and land a bunch of clients that way. Um, I know some, some, some big people actually who just do only like social media stuff. Um, probably not the way I would go about it these days if I wanted to. I, I don't like the social, social media thing as much, but I know some people have big success doing it, so I can't really talk down on it. Um, what, what would you do if you're going to start going after uh, local clients today, Nick? Well, I think about like when I first got started um, with any number of things in SEO, a lot of the times I was doing things for free um, and I was giving... Yeah, providing value, people, right? Yeah, to provide value. Um, you know, showing that I can execute on something and I'm not scared of trying. Um, and yeah, a lot of times that resulted in me not getting a leg up. Um, you know, because any number of reasons, um, you're working for free. You're at the mercy of whoever you're doing this stuff for. However, um, as you do that, more opportunities will present themselves. And so you can't be discouraged, um, if you're, you know, doing something just to build the name for yourself and it doesn't come automatically because it's not going to. You have to stay relentless um, in your pursuit to, you know, get to a certain level, uh, create that goal, and then kind of go through the motions to get there. Um, I would say doing things for free was almost like you could consider it an internship um, in your, uh, you know, beginning of uh, creating a, a, a business with some scope in SEO. Uh, and yeah, I, I don't think, um, I would have been able to build this without doing a good amount of stuff like that. Now that's not to say like get abused, right? But if you build a link network, for example, you know, like I started shilling, uh, PBN links at like five bucks a pop, uh, was one of my first backlink endeavors. And I gave a lot of those links away for free and then would go to a refs and I would map out, you know, somebody spent 20 bucks for me and I'm spending hours like, Hey, look at what this did, yada, yada. Right. But don't look at it as what you're doing for said person. Look at it as you are building um, this rep, right? Like this is who you are. You've explored what you're building. You understand it inside and out. And so it builds an education um, from the ground up where like a lot of times, like if you consider going to university or something like that, like you're not making any money as you as you learn or as you build, right? Um, so I don't know, I think, uh, first couple of years learning SEO, uh, should be kind of dedicated to doing a lot of things from the purpose of gaining an education, um, that you'll use to, to benefit people. And as you do that, uh, you're going to, you know, be more well-versed in, um, in actually being able to speak about it. You'll have more proof of concept, et cetera. And, you know, in turn, you'll have more ability to sell yourself. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the links below for more info on this topic as well as other cool stuff like SEO case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking.